If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable coins, make sure to check out my sponsor, redzonecoins.com. Use code Noble at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Link is in the description. What's up today, my fellow mass soldiers? So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is showing you guys the free 99 gold Isaiah Apollo mood that I actually grinded for. If it's worth the grind for you guys, I'm gonna go over it. I'm gonna go over the solo challenges, how I beat them and everything else because I'm gonna show you guys. It's not that very complicated, but it does get a little frustrating, but it's very easy. But there's other things that I figure you guys might know. I'll show you the player, putting all the squad abilities, everything else. So that's what we're gonna be doing right here. Also, if you guys can, please drop a like on the video. What that does is, helps get this video out to other people also like this information and if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it to get notified each and every time i upload a video so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it all right here we go we're gonna go to the challenges let's go over these because i know some questions you guys probably want answered some of you guys probably got the player you probably just want to see who i'm um how he looks on the squad or what, whatever the case may be i know some of you guys are still grinding for it because there was like certain things that came about that i found out later right so let's go all the way down here. Because either way, if you guys want your team counting, you have to grind anyway. So check this out. It says that tier 12, you're going to earn a Team Diamond 99 overall BND Isaiah Palamu. A lot of people are mad because they figured they just had to do a, the, the new solos that came out and they earn them. So they're like, okay, I'm going to go do the new solos and get them. That's what I did because I already grinded everything else out. But for those who are coming to find out shortly after that that's not the case, you have to grind out the 201 stars in order to get them. Maybe even less, I think you're gonna miss like one star. What is it? It won't even say on mine because I don't have it, but I think you're gonna miss like one star. You literally have to grind it all out in order to get him. So people are mad and frustrated. Here's the thing, right? They're giving you a free 99 gold. He's gooned out. He gets all the team Kims from what I know, which we're gonna see right now. And I was told that he was auctionable, which we're gonna see right now. So if that's the case to me, um, that's not, I mean, it's a grind, but it's worth the grind if, you guys been grinding out and you guys been participating. It shouldn't have been hard, especially if you wanted to max out your team captain, which in order for you to max out your team captain, you had to grind out every single team diamond solo in order to get all the tokens, right? So to me, it's worth the grind. I know some people are frustrated, especially those who just start out the game. But if it's auctionable, you get all the team. Even if it's not auctionable, you get all the team Kims. It's a 99 gold. It's worth the grind to me. So we're going to find out that right now. But once again, the Diamond Forge, let's go over these solos right here. So these, there's 20 solos, they're two stars. It's not that hard, but honestly though, once you get down to like 12 or 11 and stuff like that, um, where you have to like score two touchdowns, the time is um, running out and things like that. Let me tell you guys one thing right there. It's not hard, but it does get a little frustrating. But it's still nothing like the gauntlets that we used to get before in the past, where you literally had to play a whole game and complete certain objectives in the game and or our stats or whatever in the game in order to get it done. Then we're a lot harder. So I, I'd rather deal with this and I'll figure it out. It gets a little frustrating, but it's not hard. You could get it done, so don't worry about it. You could get it done. It just gets a little frustrating. Some of it on arcade, but the way they operate out there, it's frustrating. So I do want to let you guys know that. Now let's go over here. I got the pack right here. We're going to see if he's auctionable, everything else. And then I'm going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, put him on the squad, see how he looks and everything. Oh, it says BND. People were saying he was auctionable. Why were they saying he was auctionable, bro? Was it a glitch? He quick stops for a 7,500 train. Not, hold on. Was it a glitch earlier? Or am I tripping? I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna have to check this out because I seen a card earlier that said auctionable and the quick sell was 350K. So I don't know if it was a glitch and, it, and, it, and, it, and it, I just, maybe I should have opened it earlier when I had it because I didn't open it until now, but it, it really don't matter. It's a free 99 overall gold. To me, it's worth it. They say it gets all team Kim, so we'll see what here. Let, let me go ahead and open up this slot. So yeah, he gets all team Kim's. Does he get two? Or does he the second position? So he get the free safety position, which we're gonna see right now if he still maintain uh, maintains the 99 gold at that position. And he also gets all team Kim's, which I'm gonna put the Cowboys on him. So that's to me is a big win already. Fawn Art, he's gonna get the, okay, so he's gonna get the competitive pass Fawn Art, because we did get him for free before anyway, so it's actually not bad. Now let's go, okay, let's go over the X-Factors. So these are all the X-Factors he gets, okay. Nothing special about that. Discounted abilities. So pick artist and enforcer for zero AP, not bad. Then Demoralizer, Crusher, 
secure tackler, strip specialist, enforcer, deflator. So all these are 1 AP, no outsiders, out of my way. Acrobat 1 AP, pick artist, lurker. So everything's 1 AP. Even the inside shade, outside shade is not bad. One step ahead is 4 AP, not too bad, but still has quite a bit of AP. So yeah, all the abilities are 1 AP besides these other ones, which is pretty OP, I think, for what I know. So yeah, everything's 1 AP. That's actually not bad. I know someone was saying that that's what it was supposed to be, but still though, to actually see it, I think it's pretty good. So I'm going through it just to make sure. Yeah, every, everything is 1 AP. These are all the basic ones which I don't add anyway. I'm not gonna add no abilities right now, but uh, we'll check it out in a minute. Um, these are his attributes without being on the squad. So you guys can check it out real quick. I'll go through it. And then I, when I put them on the squad, I'm gonna go ahead and go over his attributes after that. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I just wanna show you how he looks before. To me, that's a win. I'll, I'll take them. I just know it's a little frustrating having to grind out the solos and especially if you guys haven't did everything. But once again, if you guys grinded them out, which I'm gonna get this guy up to a 98 right now because I do got the other token. I have grinded it out. Here he goes right here. So let's go over here to the free safety. See if he's at a 99 at free safety also. So he's not. So if you put him at free safety, he's only going to be a 97. He might be up to a 99 gold. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. With the 99 overall with blue chems, but he's only a 97. So just in case you guys wanted to know that. Now let's check out how he looks with the stats as a uh, on the squad. So we got 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 87 tackle, 98 play rec, 96 pursuit, 98 man, 98 zone, 95 hit power, 6'4. 211 pounds, 86 strength, okay. 82 catching, which is not bad. 99 jumping, okay, pretty good. 99 stamina, 98 change of directions, 80 catch with traffic, 87 tackle, 87 block shit, which is actually pretty good for his safety. We'll be making plays with that, especially on blitzes and all that if you want to blitz them. 98 zone wire, you said that 95 hit power. So this card is actually pretty good and it's free. So we're gonna have him and we're gonna have where is he at? So I'm going to take Malik. Oh, Malik, Hook Malik Hooker got a new card too. So I'm not going to get him right now. This is not, just to let you guys know, this is not a Cowboy or, or, or Dallas Cowboy theme team upgrade, even though this is a 52 out of 50 right now. Cowboy theme team, which we're going to get it up later. Um, but I will be doing a, a Cowboy theme team update, which I, which we, you see right here. We got Isaiah Palomu now. We're going to add the, the free safety Malik Hooker. And I think we even got another player, right? So... That's what we're gonna do. And if there's a new player comes out at the time that I drop the video, then we'll go ahead and add the newest player of the Cowboy on the squad, and we will do the update, so stay tuned for that. But this is my squad right here. This is a Cowboy theme team. Um, looking good, looking decent. Um, and we got a new addition to it, so. But once again, though, this is not a Cowboy theme team update. To show you guys how Palomu looks on the squad, to go over the solos, if it's worth the grind and explain it to you guys, it, to me, it's worth the grind. Grind it out. Get your free Paula move and get all your team captain tokens so you guys can upgrade your team captain because at the end of the day, the team captain will be a 99 gold. In my opinion, the team captain should have been 99 gold already. So anyways, there it is there. Please drop a like on the video. Until next time, 